Okay, so the original problem is a squared minus 5bc plus ac minus 5ab. That's the original problem. And for, this is a factor by grouping. Problem from chapter 6. Okay. So for the first step we have to do is we have to group our terms in a logical way. So since the second and fourth terms both both contain a 5 in them, it just makes sense to group those terms together. And since the first and third terms both contain an A, we want to group those terms together. So after grouping, you get A squared plus AC plus, you have to keep the plus sign in between the two, so it's not a multiplication right away, negative 5BC minus I'm just going to go down here, 5AB. This is how we have our problems grouped. And now that we have um, the terms like grouped in a logical way, we can remove a greatest common factor from each term. All right, so I just rewrote the problem again up top just so we can see what we're looking at. And out of the first term here, we see that we have a squared plus ac, a times c, and we know that we can pull an a out of that. So when we pull an a out front, we're left with an a plus c. And in the second term, we, can, we see that we have a negative 5b common in both terms. So we know that we can keep the plus sign there, but pull out a negative 5b and we're left with C plus A. Now that we have removed the greatest common factor from each term, we see that we have the C plus A here, and we're just going to rewrite this as A plus C so that it matches this term, so that eventually in our final step when we come to an answer, we can uh, combine like terms to arrive at the answer. <laughs> All right, so I just rewrote our problem, what we had from the previous slide, changing the C plus A to an A plus C, just rewriting it so that we can combine like terms. And then the next step is to bring these two together and these two together to get our final answer of A minus 5B times A plus C.